hello everyone uh, welcome back here to another amazing video so today you can see we have a different person on the channel and she has an incredible story to tell me. she has been in uganda for quite some time and in today's video you're about to know why she chose uganda and why she has spent this good time here in our loved country beloved country uganda natalie welcome to the channel thank you very much how have you it's been it's my pleasure uh -huh. yeah i am very good okay how do you find uganda mm, uganda this is a special country for me mm -hmm. yeah um especially because uh this is very very different culture than between my culture mm. between poland and uganda oh. we have so many difference you're from poland yes i am from poland exactly oh so you guys are next to ukraine yes oh, yes yeah. that's right the, she's from eastern europe right? yeah this right. yeah. now in poland this is the same like in all europe mm. you have a lot of luxury mm. uh you can feel safe you can feel uh, comfortable mm. you can get a good job mm -hmm. good salary mm -hmm. here people they are it's a big challenge yes this big challenge just to survive here mm. uh, especially when you have a big family many children yeah this is a very big challenge mm. for us this is very easy mm. Mm. because of your economy yes okay. exactly yeah so how did you get to uganda and of all countries in africa why did you choose Uganda? And how many months or how long have you been here so far? Okay, so uh, <laughs> my adventure with Uganda it started last year mm. in February. February. Yes, I came with my father because my father he's traveling to Uganda every year. Mm. How long have you been traveling to Uganda? Uh, I think that his first time it was like 2012. 2012. Yeah, and every year he's coming here. As a tourist? Yes, like a tourist for three weeks, four weeks. Yeah, wow. just to take a rest, to enjoy the nature, to enjoy people, yeah, to see another culture. Mm. So he took me like for vacations for three weeks. Mm. We spent here three weeks in February and March. Mm. Uh, after that, we came back to my country, to Poland. Mm. After a few weeks, I decided that, ah, I am so surprised, I am so shocked, but I was very also pleased in Uganda mm. that I want to spend more time there. What surprised you? <clears throat> what surprised me? I think that uh, especially people, okay. they are very kind. Oh. Yes, they are, you know, everyone, when you are on the street, everyone try to preach you, try mm. to uh, talk with you, mm. even when you are white, it doesn't matter for them. Mm. In Poland, when you are a stranger and you see someone on the street, you don't even say hello, you don't even say good morning. Mm. So here, this is like... How about um, now you see my skin tone is different? Yeah. How do the Polish people see me with my skin tone as a black person? Uh, I want you to be honest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. Because here in our country, people are treating you well. Yes. I think you're even getting the opposite to what you see on the media, mm. what they talk about Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how about back in Poland? I think that, you know, uh, Poland, this is not the most popular country for people from Africa. They are traveling mm. or they are migrate. Mm. So uh, there are many people in Poland, they don't know anyone mm. who has black skin, who mm. has your tone of skin. Mm. So there is something new. Mm. But I think that now this is changing. So this is not like a racist thing. Mm. This is like interesting Curiosity. thing. Curiosity. Yes. Oh, they are just that. interested in mm. oh what this person is doing here mm. he's something new maybe we can just uh, talk with him maybe we can just i don't know find something else about africa mm. what's going on okay. they are interested in mm. they are not like many people mm. they are behaving racism okay yeah mm. how do polish girls mm -hmm. or ladies think about dating african men black guys especially what do they think about that? Are they open to that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that we are open, especially yeah. when uh, you are a single mm. and you are traveling alone. Mm. So this is also maybe this possibility to get a husband mm. is also for me, mm. just for myself. This is also okay. Mm. It doesn't mean that I am from Poland, so I have to have uh, like a, a Polish, Polish guy. Mm. Yeah, no, no, mm. uh, it's not like that. But I think that also many guys here, mm. uh, they just want to have fun, 
Maybe something like that. <laughs> when they say different skin tone, they are not serious like... in relationship. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is one thing. Another thing, what uh, what I'm thinking now. This is like uh, you know, for you in your culture, you can have, for example, five wives mm. or three wives. Not many cultures. A few cultures. Yeah. Yeah. There are some. But um, in this area, this is allowed. Yeah. In Gishu region. Yeah. Polygamy is a bit, a bit, a bit tolerated. Yeah. Yes. So for us in Poland, polygamy is illegal. Mm. So for us, when you have another guy, this is like cheating mm. on your husband. So I can even be arrested for that. No, you can't be arrested, mm. but you can't marry another another girl. Mm. You have to take a divorce with first lady mm. to get married with another one. Mm. Yeah. So and you know uh, you have to remember that the first lady it should be disappointed, mm. uh, she will feel very uh, harmful. Mm. Yeah. So mm. this is this is very very different. Mm. So you said your adventure of Uganda started in February. Was yeah. that this year? February 2023, 2023. Last year. Last year. Yeah. So have you been in Uganda since then or? No. Okay. Uh, I started in February 2023 with my father. He mm. took me here like for vacations for mm. three weeks. Mm. After three weeks, I came back to my country. Mm. And uh, I was so pleased of Uganda. I was so happy that I could uh, get a good time there. Mm. And after a few weeks, I told my parents that, you know what, I decided just to leave my work, leave my university and go to Uganda to stay for one year. For the beginning you quit your job yes <laughs> i quit my university <laughs> and i came here to Why? stay with rose's last chance because i was so pleased i was so happy to be here wait you left the comfort in poland yes you and chose to come to uganda but not even in the capital city uh -huh. you traveled over 300 400 kilometers yes. deep in the hills in the mountains in the villages yes to stay with these people yes exactly Exactly. Wow, okay. I'm those are, so now I can say that those are my people. Mm. I love them so much. Uh, I can get from them kindness, good heart. Mm. They treat me very well. Mm. So I can just stay with them and feel still comfortable. So by the way, guys, we are in Sronko district. Sronko district, uh, we are a few, uh, a few kilometers away to the highest peak of Mount Elgon. So this lady here left the comfort in Poland to come and be with these people because of her first experience here. Now, you said you quit your job. Yes. Which job was that? <laughs> Are you comfortable sharing the job? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. I mm -hmm. Yeah. Which job was that? It was, uh, I was like a um, logistic manager in a big company. Okay. Yeah. So that means the pay was... Yeah, uh, salary was was good, very good. Wow. And uh, which course were you pursuing at campus, at university? In university? Mm. Uh, at university, of course, um, because of my job, I had to just study uh, on weekends. Okay. Yeah, so the cost was very, very high mm. of paying for that. It was like in my currency, it was like uh, 1,000. Mm. So here it is like 1 million of Ugandan shillings. Mm. Per Per three months. Per three per months. Three months. Yeah. Okay. Oh, one million. I feel it's, it's not high. Uh, it's not expensive. Ah, this is not expensive. For three months. Ah, uh, yeah. Compared to your but economy. You have, to, you have to remember. You have to remember about books, about another courses when okay. you have to. Yeah. Other costs which yes. come in. Yeah. Yeah. There, exactly. I understand. How long do you think you're gonna spend here in Uganda? Uh, so my plan is to spend. Uh, total time this like one year mm. so I should be here up to another September mm. yeah then I am planning to come back to my to my country mm. finish my university okay. then come back here making may, to... maybe stay here for all my life I don't know but I'm planning <laughs> to come back <laughs> you're choosing to relocate here permanently <laughs> yes yes what did you use to hear about Uganda or Africa in general uh, I think that I can say what uh, most of people in Poland they think about Africa because it was my thinking before I came here mm. that this is very dangerous, mm. especially when you want to travel alone. Mm. This is like a crazy idea. You can and especially do. as a as a woman. Yes. Mm. Yes. 
yes you can feel comfortable there is everyone can i don't know everyone can try to cheat you mm. uh because of the money because of the love because i think, of the, i think that's everything. everywhere but people in europe they don't know uganda very well mm. there are not many people that are traveling here mm. maybe to kenya to congo mm. they are more um, more popular uh, countries, countries. Mm. yeah but uganda mm. this is not very uh, well known mm. yeah but maybe now mm. we have a chance just i can just be my my friends mm. i can show them now they know that i am safe here mm. that people treat oh, me very you well you usually talk to your friends you talk yes. to your friends about yes. uh, your experience here yes of course of do course. they I ask you about them. are you safe what do you eat yeah what, yeah okay what funny questions have they asked you uh, <laughs> I think about that your stay I, no I think that uh, how you can manage without the shower. Mm -hmm. I said but who told you that I don't have shower? Thank you. Uh, I Because have shower in every accommodation. Sleep? Yes. yes. And, and the rooms look modern. Yes, mm. of course, and they are not very expensive. Mm. Yeah. So I think that accommodation here they are very good now on mm. this time I I I met Yeah, you have to shower, you have toilet, you have very big bed, mm. you have air conditioner usually. Mm. Ah. Mm. Okay. So are some of them um, some of your friends uh, do you think they would love to come and spend some time in Uganda basing yes. on your experience on what yes, you've been telling them? Yes. Of course. Mm. But they are still a little bit of scared. Mm. So we decided uh, with them that uh, when I come back to Poland I'm going to spend a few months there with mm. my family mm. to focus on my job, to focus on my university. After then we are going to come together mm. so I can be like a Polish guide here. Mm. Before we close the video, I want you to say something to people out there, people in Europe, people in America, people in your country. Mm -hmm. Something about Africa in general. Okay, how mm. many African countries have you been to? This is just my first one. Uganda is your first African yes. country. Yes. Tell them anything. I don't want to say positive, negative. Tell them anything. Maybe something that can change the narrative about what they think about us, mm -hmm. what they think of the continent. Uh, I think that I can just say one thing, that uh, people from Europe, people from US, uh, you shouldn't believe on stereotypes. Mm. You should just come and check by yourself because you can be a really positive surprise, mm. like me. Well, thank you so much, Natalia. Thank you so much. Yeah, do you have Instagram? Yes, of course. Okay, tell us your Instagram. You never know you will get you might get some followers. Um, can I check it on my phone? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I no. always forget. It's I okay, you can check you can check it. <laughs> okay, I'll put the Instagram on the screen there. Yes. She will tell of me course. her Instagram account, we we'll go and check her out. So you document your journey in Uganda on your Instagram or is once in a while? No, just once in a while. Once yeah. in a while. But you never know, you might have some Ugandans who would like to connect with you. Mm. Mm. Oh, usually I am just communicate with people on Facebook. Mm. So that's also good. So is your Facebook okay? Yes. To share? Yes, of course, I think so. Please tell us. It is Natalia Zhukovska. Just name, my you name and last name. Natalia Zhukovska. Natalia Zhukovska. Zhukovska. <laughs> It sounds more like uh, Russian. Yeah, Russian, Ukraine and um, Polish language they are similar. They are similar. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much Natalia. Uh, also those who are watching if you're watching from Poland or anywhere around the world, I think you know that uh, Africa is a safe continent. Don't uh, follow what the people say about us, the negative stuff about us. And in Uganda particularly, Uganda has got a lot of things to offer. And do you think the statement Uganda being the part of Africa is true? I think that this is very true. Mm. Yeah. I think about nature, about animals, about people, mm. and this is a pearl. Mm. So about uh, adventures, mm. about experience. Mm. Ah, I am sure that this is. So you're close to Mount Elgon. When are you trekking to the top? Ah, I was there uh, the first week I came here. So you trekked? Yes, up I trekked up. Yes? Yeah, for three days. Okay. Wow. Yes. Incredible. That's exactly. Well, let's finish the video here. Of course. Next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Mm.